why the Great Depression was the ultimate snowball effect. The snowball effect is a process that starts with something fairly small until it builds in size to become very powerful. The stock market crash of 1929 was by no means minimal, but it was just the beginning of the giant snowball known as the Great Depression. On October 29, 1929, the stock market tanked, and that was Black Tuesday. Two months later, stockholders had lost over $40 billion. Some people mistakenly believe Black Tuesday is the same as the Great Depression, but it was just one piece of the puzzle. The major loss in capital from Black Tuesday resulted in over 9,000 banks failing. Since the banks were uninsured, people lost their entire life savings when the banks began shutting their doors. Banks that did survive were too hesitant to provide new loans, slowing down the economy even further and creating a bigger snowball. People of all classes stopped buying things. No one buying things meant no need to make things, and that caused more job losses. At one point, unemployment was over 25%. Quick comparison, the unemployment rate since the Great Depression. As businesses continued failing, the government created a tariff that charged high taxes on foreign imports. And that hurt rather than helped as trade and demand for U.S. goods decreased. The stock market, high tariffs, banks closing, and unemployment, they all combined to make one giant snowball that was impossible to stop until it finally ran out of steam, 10 years after destroying everything in its path. 